So I'm Ben Samuel. I run the news Niger 24 News. Okay. It's a blog. Okay. There's a website, and there's we have staff and all that. And Andrew has been my friend for over 10 years. Okay. So I know him. We live in the same community in the UK, and um, I know I know quite a bit of him. So I visited when I was in Nigeria, and every time I come to Nigeria, I do go to see him in Paracot. So mm. it's quite a very unfortunate um, situation that we're discussing about. But the conspiracy out there and the narrative out there is taking the main focus from the main reason why this thing took place, the alleged incident. Because now I used to accept it that it has happened. Now I'm calling it alleged until Nigerian police come out and speak on this. Do you know, I want you to ask me a question, anything, please, Daddy Freeze, you can ask me anything. When I mean anything consigning this man, anything, and I will be brutally honest with you, and I'll give you the answer without iota of a fear. And I'm very constant with it. Go ahead, sir. Andrew, and graduated in 1989. How true is that? Um, Sorry, I from secondary I'm, school. I'm you not going to go back as far as that. I didn't know Andrew then. Okay. So, but I do believe Andrew spent some his early age in the eastern part of Nigeria. He was born in the UK, and then. The good thing that you guys need to know today, Andrew was actually adopted, okay? And Andrew was raised in Nigeria. He told me this one because he explained his early um, growth uh, when we discuss. So that's all I can say. I don't know about 80 something, I don't know, but I do believe that may be a correct um, event of his okay. life. Let's go into Andrew's predilections. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about what seems to be the norm. There's an allegation that this is one of the reasons why Andrew had to leave the UK. This same inappropriate handling of a woman. Mm -hmm. How true is that? I would say that is partially completely true partially true okay throw some light on it explain to us why and you he has why... he has he was in jail he went to jail in this country okay he went to jail for slapping a woman i was aware of it and is a very he's a successful businessman he's a gas heater engineer the fact are there he maintained almost 85 percent of council property in beckinghamshire he maintains schools. He has staffs that over 15 staff. At one point, Andrew have more than 15 vans for staff. Minimum wages for his salary for his staff, 40 grand a year. Most of his staff are British, white British, basically. Andrew is a crafted guy. But he has a problem. Just like everyone, he has a serious mental health problem, challenges. Now, he was involved in an incident that took him to prison. And after that prison incident, his life went like this, boom, like that. So he decided, Andrew does not know anything about Nigerian culture. Or like he knows, he knows he's from Nigeria. He knows he loves that he's been there before. He, he was brought up a little bit of his early age before he moved back to the UK and completely grew up here. He even to play Afrobeat. When we go out, he has cars. So when we go out and I'm playing Afrobeat, he never enjoyed it because it's not his kind of thing. When I see him, his life was completely a mess after he came back from prison. So that means he lost his businesses. He lost all his businesses. He has to because he's maintaining property for the council. And when you oh. maintain property for the council and you have a two years in prison, they will be automatically taken away. This is not Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Okay, so you cannot go and start maintaining property or your company will be responsible for vulnerable people in their buildings. I knew he had this problem, but he's in the UK. He's well, he's well managed here. But this guy suddenly called me one day and said he's moving to Nigeria. I'm okay, like, so you... he moved to Nigeria because he was broke. He was not broke. 
Whoever told you he's broke, they're lying. He mm. was not mm. broke. He has properties. He has life. But his company went down. So he went into depression. And now he, he can't go to America because he can't go to the US. He can't go to any Western country because of mm. his criminal record. And he wanted to go to Nigeria and reset his life. Okay? That is how he moved to Nigeria in, in 2021. Mm. Okay, you can go mm. ahead. Let me not just okay. jump over the case. Okay. okay. There were three cases mm -hmm. that Harrison reported. Selim, yes, please. Um, Afiba and mm -hmm. some other girl who came and said she showed us uh, some injuries that she sustained trying to run away from Andrew. Who, from his property. From his property after it was alleged that Andrew K-I-D-N-A-P-P-E-D her. Mm -hmm. Now, these three stories sound very similar. That's mm -hmm. where I draw my personal suspicion from. I may be wrong, but I'd like you to throw some you are, light on it. You are, ever... absolute, you are absolutely right. Mm. And that is not just the three story. There are more stories. Andrew has threw a girl out of his balcony in Podacot. Like, throw the girl, throw. The girl had a spinal cord. I want you to listen. It's not easy for me to do this, but I'm doing this so that Nigerian government can learn so that a condemned human being cannot come to Nigeria and do what they want. And, and let me go back again. I'm leaving selling. I'm leaving after B and I'm leaving the other girl. Let me take you back a little bit in Paracot. And that big man of his that say, you know him, don't call his name. They will know about this. Andrew moved to PH. And the first three months, Andrew was in prison in PH. What did yes. he do? The same thing. Girls reported him for. I want to give you correct invent so that bloggers. That are running away with shadows they will know they are hearing from the right source and i've been i put myself out there to change the narrative because what would have happened is this they would have just pushed all this narrative the case would and more prejudice can move to nigeria and do the same thing again oh wow and no lesson and no lesson will be learned no lesson oh wow lesson will be learned. do you have evidence to back your claims it's not evident if i have evidence i was aware of the case like totally aware of the cases that he's been to. Hmm. The police in Port Harcourt is aware. The state CID, who gave him a GUN license, the state CID, who gave him a GUN license in 2022, and to return back to Nigeria in 2021, the GUN license that you see on the video that he's given to, the, was banned in 2022. They backdated it for him 2016 and they took money from him and he was using this thing to tell it to do the big man i am not coming here to defend him i'm coming here to tell you we have a system that doesn't work now now, now let me ask you a question if you are aware of all these things if you are aware of all these things going on why didn't you talk to him i was speaking to him you don't understand I was speaking regularly to him, and I was telling Gesetu, to marry, marry somebody that can calm you down. Logs of messages, logs of text messages. It's not everything I'll come here and I start telling you. For that kind of a guy that have risen to the pinnacle of management, to descend to that level, you have to understand. I was telling him, I was, I have my kid. I have been in this country for more than twenty something years. I have never seen police van, the back of police van, never seen it. My record is as pure as gold. And I'm telling him, pick a lesson, learn, learn. Stop this thing that you are doing. Get married and live your life. It was not easy for him. But the Nigerian police, the environment he moved back to, encourage him. You give yeah. him a word. You give him a gun. When he harmed when he, when he ham this girl and he went to cell, they give him his phone. He called me from cell and he said, I have a problem. Blah, 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 blah. I have a, I'm like, what's the problem? 
He called me from South. Are you listening to me? I can hear you. The state CID, if anybody watching in state CID, you guys know what I'm talking about. It was a big, wow. big shot. Just imagine you are a big shot in 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 in, in Podakot. That police police respect you and they come to you. Wow. Of so, course, we like to hear from the side of the police. We like to hear from the side of the police. We, we, we want to hear the whole story. Let me tell you, let me, let me, let me tell you, let, for those of you guys that are saying, why didn't you report to police? Why didn't you, are you, are you, I, me calling police, police, the Nigerian police and say, this person is doing this. He's doing with adults. He's having an adult, adult conversation with another adult. No matter how rough it is, he's an adult. If I see minor, that would have been a different thing. I'm a crafty writer. I would have written a, a petition against him to the Interpol. Already he was declared wanted here, which I myself, he never revealed that one to me that he was declared wanted in the in the UK. Mm. So when that incident happened, I thought this would taught him a lesson. But the PR, the DPO that was in charge of that case in Portacot in Agui Road, and I'm giving figures now. Agui Road, Portacot Police Station was coming to Nakandu at home. The one that was supposed to be in charge of disciplining him for harming that girl. That is, if I'm correct. The girl that was thrown from the balcony. Yes. The girl that was thrown from the balcony. A poor girl. A poor girl from who you I cried. But there are things, there are traumas you see in life that you are you are now you are let, thinking, let me ask you, yeah? what happened to the girl? Is she okay now or she I have no clue. I don't have I don't have a contact with these these girls. He he will tell me the story and then I'll hear the story. Some of his staff will tell me the story. He has staffs. The guy started a betting company. He has computer, and then he he do a lot of betting in millions. So Andrew, now I want to ask you a question, and let let let's let's narrow down to Black Sheep, his company. Yeah. Was Andrew? Do you think Andrew was working with a syndicate? He's uh, not working you, for no syndicate. Do I don't know where. Think, he, he was O-R-G-A-N-S. Of what? O-R-G-A-N-S. No. I, not that I'm aware of. And I can tell you this from a pure... That company is registered in the UK, in a company house in the UK. So, when I hear that one from your platform, I'm like, where did they get this one from? When mm. I hear that... He's it was just my it. suspicion. No, it's... I, I've been hearing it. When I hear that there was this chopping human bee, I'm like, where did they get this one from? I will come here and tell you there is a lot of narrative that would have just gone under the carpet and the bigger picture, the bigger message would have gone lost completely. And my mission, I want Nigerians to take this very serious. My mission is that Nigerian police must stop being compromised. They must protect our women. When a poor girl come and report to you, Take it serious. Don't sweep it under the carpet. They enable him for this. You talked about the girl that Harrison spoke about, about the young lady that said he has to throw, him, throw herself out of the stairs, out of whatever, in January, whatever. If that girl report would have taken serious, Andrew wouldn't have a, get a chance to harm the other girl in April. That and girl that girl's be... report, let me ask you, yes. uh, the one who jumped, they yes. said Andrew would forcibly do front and back is that going no, i got no clue on that one in short to be to be honest with you i'm i'm gonna be real honest. i never hear about that one until that one came up but that girl also went to the police station when that girl when the story came out and i read it and i read it on harrison page that girl also went to the police station. what did police do police have a chance to stop this guy one million times before this time around so i'm not coming here to cry for the dismiss of Andrew. I'm coming here to talk about the decay in our system whereby we protect the rich over the poor. That's why I'm came. Because if I didn't speak, Daddy Freeze, if I would if I would have just kept quiet, if I didn't call just Adotu and told her I was driving just Adotu to London, to central London, and I showed her and I'm like you hear the story going on? He said, she didn't know about the story. I'm like, this is what's going on. I said, you know this guy is from our city here? And this guy is a person that I know very well. He said, what? I opened my phone. I show her. I said, 
please, we want to highlight this thing. And my focus was not just to find the young ladies that are missing. I want lesson to be learned because that is what the Western country do. Why did this happen? Hmm. Okay, now let's let's hone in on um, Celine and Afiba. What mm -hmm. do you know about Celine and Afiba? On the on the eighth of May, around midnight, I got a couple of messages from Andrew around twelve twenty four precisely. And everything I'm saying, go to the to the blog, go to, go to my page. The screenshot, everything is there. I got a message. Hey, buddy, this is my last message to you. I am going. It has been a challenge for me. I just want to tell you that I'm done. I'm like, so what do you mean? I wrote him immediately. That was on the 8th, midnight of May. I started writing him, what's up? What's going on? Are you okay? Is it money? What's going on? Oh, Ben, you don't understand. I've been struggling. This is just the last straw for me. The messages are there. The, the catalog of messages are there. I'm like, what is going on? Talk. Then he didn't talk. The next time he talked to me, I called him. He didn't pick up. Then he talked to me. Then he said, the police barricaded me. I'm inside. I'm like, what's going on? He said, I'm inside. He said, I barricade myself inside. I'm like, no, is it about the, is it about the GUN? If you're about GUN, give it to them. What is going on? So the next thing he did, pa, 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 he sent me, um, he sent me a screenshot. I didn't have time to even check the screenshot properly. I was just trying to come communicate with him to make sure he didn't do the undoable at that particular time. I said, don't take your own uh, life. Don't do it. Don't do it. What's going on? Then I go into the message. Then I saw a screenshot of um, not selling. Yeah, selling. Selling, um, selling an Afiba conversation where he was negotiating price with them. So come and spend weekend with me. And then and the girl was asking for one million. Uh, for both of them and i look at it then i asked hold on guys because nigerian job like to jump with falsehood i don't do falsehood not me i write i write i said is it about girls please don't do something stupid hand over yourself to the police if they're outside that's what i wrote then he, he no no talking again so at that particular time they said there was about 30 police people in his compound and, I'm, and I was, I keep on trying to check on him. I'll call him, he won't pick. Then say, buddy, I can't talk. He will write me, I can't talk. My battery is, I can't talk. At that particular time, they say he barricaded himself inside his room. And then the police are outside at the gate and everywhere. So they are coming to arrest him at that particular time. So this is the, I, I was thinking, is there anybody with you? In my head, I'm like, this guy have taken a hostage. I said, this guy have taken a hostage. I know he has GUN. So hmm. I'm now thinking now, what is the best way to talk to him to make sure the damage is not bigger? I said, hand over yourself to the cops. Hand over yourself to the cops. He didn't talk to me again. He did, and I was waiting. I didn't go to bed until about 2 something, two, maybe 2.45 a.m. I decided to close my eye. In the morning, I write him, no answer. At that time, they're taking him. So hmm. I was... I was was later told that he submitted himself at 3 a.m. in the night to the police. So that means my conversation that I had with him, where I was telling him, don't do something stupid, that actually works. Because he has his GUN inside his room with him. He could have done undoable. But I didn't know there was this guest. Well, I thought the guest, well, he holds the girl hostage. I didn't know the guests were missing. And I did not know the girl were missing until the 22nd. Of me, from the eighth till the twenty second. Yes. yes, I did not hear anything anymore. So I thought the un unthinkable has happened. I was communicating with everybody I know that could reach out to him. Mm. I call his, mm. I call his auntie that I have the contact. I text messages. I send the number to my people in Nigeria to call with a local number if they will pick up. Nobody talk. So I assume maybe this okay, guy. Okay, I want to bring Harrison arrested. now. Harrison, I'm going to bring you in five minutes, but I want this gentleman to finish his story. So finish. Um, Harrison, I'm bringing you now. I'm sorry. I got carried away with this. Bringing you now. Two minutes. All right. Let, let's finish with your story so I can add uh, 
Harrison. So what now happened to, I, I, I'm sure by the time before he was transported, or I'm assuming that before he was transported, mm -hmm. he communicated with you. No, he didn't communicate with me after the eight. The next time he communicated with me was on the 22nd. Fact. Okay, so what was the conversation he had with you on the 22nd? On the 22nd, he reached out and he told me they're accusing me of kidnapping two girls. Then I had the picture. The he never sent me any 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 bad picture of these two young ladies. He sent me the video of them in the room. He said this at that the this video came on the twenty second. On the twenty second, okay. he sent me the video of Celine and the other one. They were not in any. Um, they were not doing any any bam bam. So the girls were lying down. One was lying down like this, then the other one was on the other bed, but they look mashed down. I that was the video I showed to just Adetu, and I said, This video looked bad. I said, and me and just Adetu was looking at it in the car like this. Say, I said, This look bad. He dropped this girl. Can you forward the video to me? I will. 100 percent I said, I said, I said, this look bad. He, they don't use something. Yes, because one of them was lying down like this, then the other one was the other side like this. Yeah. I shared this video with just Adotu. And then just Adotu told me. Just Adetu. Just Ad people know who told, Sorry, my apology. Yes. Just Adetu. All right. Just Adetu. All right. All right. At just Adetu. Sorry. Then what happened was I shared it with her. And then mm. I said, and I went on Harrison page because Harrison was doing everything to research about this guy and what harrison was saying the picture was not adding up to the, the person i know and the person they are talking about so we connected harrison we had a live video a Facebook. okay i'm bringing harrison now yes. harrison is joining us back but but i wanted to hear uh, your part of the story so what do you think happened in your opinion to celine and afiba if i may tell you what i think it happened in that day I think the, the, everything that we fear may have happened. I'm a British. I'm not going to come here and start telling you, you did this. I don't do that. And I'm a journalist as well. You don't have fact, you don't speak. Mm. Okay? Mm. Because you could be held liable for that. I'm not a Nigerian whereby you say this person takes something, you start, you start knocking his head. No, we don't do that. You have to work with what is available in front of you. And nobody can bully me to say, Oh, he did it. No, 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 no. Something happened. And that is why I am thinking, what are the police covering? Why did they take Andrew? Finally, after they released Andrew on the 22nd, right? Daddy Freeze, just think about this. Please, listen to this. Andrew was released on the 22nd. Immediately Andrew got released, there was a letter and a petition. And they say, you are going to Abuja. And mm. he was released from Umaya on the 22nd. On that 22nd, some team of police arrived from Abuja, supposedly from, what do you call it, from IGO police. Please pay attention. Mm. Pay attention to the scenario so that you can make up your mind. Supposedly from IGO police. Then Andrew wrote me that morning and said, they are taking me to Abuja. That the preliminary hearing preliminary find out of the police in Aba, in, a, in a Abia state have confirmed that these guests were on a self kidnapping. They have given me back his phone. They have, they have asked him that he's going to Abuja to answer question. And I'm like, great. Call your lawyer. Go to Abuja and answer question. That's what I said. And then they went to Andrew's house. The police follow Andrew back to his house. This police that came from Parakon. First of all, the police from Abuja and the one, uh, the police from Abuja and the one in uh, uh, Umaya had a clash because the one in Umaya want to continue handling the case. The one in Abuja say we are here to take him, so they had mm -hmm. a clash. Harrison can confirm that, but they finally come together and they handle they hand over Andrew 
to the one that came from Abuja. Uh, they took Andrew back to the house. Are you listening, Daddy? Please, yes. please, please, please. Because I want you guys to take fact. They took Andrew back to the house. Andrew took a shower, clean up, loaded his car. Are you listening to me? Andrew told me he requested to drive his own car. Hmm. Yes, on a fact. He said, I requested, I want to drive my own car. They said, I'm only going to answer question. So he got his clothes, all most of the clothes that he did, get his laptop. His GUN was taken by the police to put in his car. Police helped him load the car. <laughs> Just listen, Nigerians, before when I go they run, like, 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 that's why we have deserve bad government. Because when I know they look at things critically, his GUN, somebody on M charges, somebody on double homicide potentially double homicide somebody on a kidnap somebody that IGO police say bring for us the Ghanaian embassy is interested this is becoming an international issue that is a priority that is like extraditing Escabo. the guy loaded his car and andrew drove i hope harrison hear this andrew drove the police did not drive the people that drove from that compound, it was Andrew. The police sat with him and they drove. Where are they heading to? Ask me, Daddy Freeze, where are they heading to? Is it not Abuja? Where are they heading They're to? They're heading to Abuja. Why didn't they go by plane? Ask me one question. Ask me. I don't know. Ask me. This, 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 is where, this is where the puzzle is right now. For those of you guys that are not listening, you guys were like, uh, because this is not the, the issue of these young ladies now. It's no longer a priority for the police. For two weeks that Andrew was in prison in Umaya, Hart arrested Who did police in Umaya arrest? Did they arrest his driver? Did they arrest his cook? Did they go back to the house to search? Did they do any research? Did they walk around the community and make inquiry? What they know? That is the basic security check that they're supposed to do for somebody that you accuse of killing young ladies the police did not do anything andrew was in prison with them they were siphoning his money he pays 600 grand to do tracking six hundred thousand for that two weeks for police to use to do tracking of the girl the police came back to him and told him that you that they find out one of the girl's phone is ringing this is a case of self please go ahead please because i don't want to start giving you everything all right Harrison all right Harrison, 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 forward Harrison the video to one... me forward the video to my dm let me have a look at it ha um in the meantime harrison uh what do you have to say about all this <clears throat> all right um first uh uh mr ben i don't have any uh grudges against you or any issue with you you know from that first video we made on um on uh is it adult? I don't. Is my mom you are? I'm like. I don't know. I'm like. I'm like you. My tongue is so bad. I grew up in Ibo land. Some of the. Uh, uh, thank you, Naimu. Me. I'm one for. I grew in Ibo state. So I don't. I don't yes. know. <laughs> All right. Adult, I grew up in Ibo state. Uh, so it's hard for me to pronounce okay. some of the words. As okay. Well. All right. Yeah. Um. First, you know, at the beginning, I wasn't happy because I thought I was. My focus was that you are you are Andrew's friend. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm you know so much about andrew and you didn't complain but later you now told me that you know who will you complain to the same police so for me i was i was i spent four years in the nigerian prison now police mm -hmm. can't even go to prison so i know how they i know how they configure stories and i understand i understand i understood your own you know, side why you don't do you to, know do you know if i call on sir do you know if i call the police for example if i call the police in in, in abuja and I said, this yes. guy, I don't like his character and everything. Mm. Who do you think would pick mm. my call? If they I want to call the police, go and, even though you pick the call, they will still, you will still fall back to him and tell him, if I, tell him, this and is if I call, call Potato, so who do you think would pick my call? <laughs> if I call a bank, who would pick my call? We don't have right. a system. Please so, go ahead. Um, yes, so I want to clear one thing. The chat that you received from Andrew about Celine demanding one million naira. Do you have a date? Is there any date on that screenshot? 
I, I want to check very well because me. yes, Listen. because um I know very well that Andrew can chat himself to claim that you know I know that one because the four victims that I spoke to told me that really Andrew took them on stage, that Andrew took their phone and was chatting as if he's the one you are the one communicating with him. It, that, just to have yes, I don't have a doubt that will happen. I, I good guarantee so, you this. Do you is that chat you have that Selling the mother of one million naira from Andrew. Do you have? Is there any date on that chat? Um, there was. There's a date on it. I'll forward it to Daddy Freeze there. You can analyze it properly. I'll so please, Daddy Freeze, immediately he sent to you. Please publish it. I if will. The I will publish it. I will follow. And then if you, you go, publish. Yeah. Follow yeah. to me. I'll follow. <laughs> if I follow, I can follow. I don't you. want to interfere yes. with evidence. My own is to Okay. Talk. Okay. Fine. My own is to If there is no date. If there is no death on it, meaning Andrew Chapman manufactured it, because yes, because the victim, the victim, um, I want to mention name because this is we have to mention name now. The victim, uh, January victim Rachel, said that Andrew took his her phone and was chatting, you know, with himself with her phone. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's what she, that's, that's what she said. So when. I was even blaming that the victim collected one million naira or the money one million naira until the victim said no, please. This um this girl this guy may be lying. Try and find more because this guy did the same thing to me. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. So if you can, if there's a date on that chart, maybe beyond twenty sixth of 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 April, that means this guy actually asked for one million naira. Okay, from let's let me just say it here for the for the people that may listen it. Any chat that I'll send to you, I'll send it yeah. to you as it came from him. Raw. Okay. Yeah. So whatever you, you see know, there, I don't I don't have your number. Do you know I want to I, I want to contact you? I would drop my number for, me. for you. I would drop yes. my number for you. We, I, listen, I would want to connect with Harry, you. I'm listen, I'm sorry. Yes, yesterday I wrote something yesterday and if you check on my page is is gone. Because Thank I have you. to understand something that on your own, you are trying to play safe at the first. You understand? Now you are trying to protect more victims. That's just me. You understand? That is the so at this point, now, I was the one telling. I told her, I just I said, you, you will help us. You will help us here because we are on Grand Nigeria. Please, if anybody is telling you, me, Harrison, police can use me. Police cannot use me. They are carrying me go jail for four years. I know what. No matter how I am. Harrison, that's for me, Harrison. You know, family. You know, when we had our first conversation, yes. I was very honest with you because that was the first shock I had, especially when we had our first conversation. But when you went on Daddy Freeze Live on that night mm -hmm. and you give account of what has taken place, yeah. I, I knew immediately there's a problem here. I said they are not giving this guy the information mm -hmm. because you are talking to the police. I wasn't talking to the police. When yes. you are going to Abuja to confirm Andrew's. Um, a status on the first day just adult told me you are going to abuja and i said okay you are going to abuja to check i said this is great we supported you so when you finally come back and you send that message that confirmed you saw it then we went continue then we went live immediately once you confirm it that he was he don't, they don't pay him yes okay we went live immediately and talked about and talk about it and then you went on daddy freeze and the information you are giving is not from you you are giving what you are related with what yes. the police told you the police told you they came to pick him they were going to abuja and then uh, around when they got to benue really? daddy freeze if I, like I, daddy freeze, please listen very well please and correct me if i lie yeah. mm -hmm. because i i still recorded that conversation that the freeze is busy pressing yes yes i'm listening i'm listening please the conversation you have with Harrison on that night, Harrison explained, narrated what the police told him that happened, that transpired. They took him from Abba and they were heading to Abuja. And when they got to Benue, Andrew, the car stopped because Andrew was at the back of the car, I think with a chain on his leg. Mm -hmm. When I hear chain on his leg, I started to shoot my head. I said, no, 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 no. 